Hello, my name is Devin Brent. I'm a senior principal architect for Vertana. In today's vlog, we are going to review finding specific events with the Advent Advisor Analytic. The purpose of this video today is to show you how to leverage the Virtual Wisdom platform using the Event Advisor Analytic to find specific events that happen within your infrastructure. We're going to be looking at specific metrics, and they can be anything that you choose, to find specific things that happen going above or below a particular threshold that aren't necessarily easy to find within the reporting section of the Virtual Wisdom platform. The integrations we're going to use today is the switch integration for fiber channel switches and the VMware integration looking specifically at VM guests. And finally, we are going to be using the Event Advisor Analytic to do all the work in today's video. So why should one investigate these specific type of events? So the type of events that we're going to look for today is looking for capacity issues. And capacity issues can be defined either as having too much or too little. So for example, overutilized resources like CPUs hitting 100%, NIC cards hitting 100%, host bus adapters hitting 100%. In those situations, running out of resources can introduce delay and instability in the environment, which impacts the customer experience on your platform. Underutilized resources, conversely, can also impact the performance on the platform, such as multiple VM guests that are only taking 1 to 2% CPU, but too many of them can tax the resources of the overall platform, also incurring problems with performance. So next, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to demonstrate on the Virtual Wisdom platform how to do these types of tasks. So what you need to do is log into the Virtual Wisdom platform and go over on the left-hand side to the Analytics section and click. Here you should have in the upper left hand corner Event Advisor. Click Run New. For this first demo, I'm going to show you how to look for a threshold being exceeded on an HBA in a host. So we'll start with Add, Host, Go to Storage, Look at read utilization. Now, typically, you would be looking for something like 95%, 98%. Unfortunately, I don't have something in my small demo environment, but what I will be doing will be this exact same concept, and you can apply this to any metric with any entity to look for a particular threshold that you want to look for to see if it's been exceeded. So looking for an exceeded, we would look for peak, and then we would click on use advanced options, and then we take this first option, trigger when metric is above or below this value. So since this is peak, it'd be for above. I know I want to look for 22% because I have one host that does exceed 22%. It is the top one. Click run and wait for the system to come back with its answer. So we have found this one host that has that event that had happened. Click on it and you will see that this happened one time on February 21st at 12.55. It only did it the one time here. It is 23%. You'll notice that the other events are below the 22% threshold that I had set. Also down here, you'll also see that we got to 23%, but no other event within this. Again, so this becomes good if you want to find those little needles in the haystack looking for events that are going higher than the threshold that you want to specifically look for. Let's go back. This time, we're going to try it the other way. We're going to look for underutilized resources from a VM. So we are going to scroll over to ESX VM. We're going to look at VM CPU utilization. Press select. But we're going to look for it being too low. So we're going to look for the valley. 
I'm going to look here for 1%, anything that is below 1%. Click Run. And give it a moment for the system to run through all the scenarios that are current in the database to come back with the results to see exactly what is below the 1% in the environment. So here is one that does go below 1%. Let's take a look. And as you can see here, this is normally well below 1%, 0.1% CPU utilization for very long extended periods of times. We certainly do have it exceed the 1%, but this is just an example of how you can go ahead and leverage the analytic to come back and look for not only high thresholds, but also low thresholds of things that you want to take a look for. So to summarize what we have covered today is we went ahead and identified a host that surpassed a given threshold, in this case, 22% read utilization. And again, you can use any metric you want. You want to look at IOPS, over a thousand IOPS, you could do that. If you want to take a look at write utilization above 75%, you could do that as well. We also went ahead and identified a low utilization. We identified a VM guest that was using very little CPU resources for extended periods of time. In this case, we could see when we look for anything below 1%, we found at least one guest that was using 0.1% CPU for extended periods of time. So what are some examples of next steps that you could take with this data? So for the utilization, you could uh, review the workload on the host and see about being able to spread the workload out across multiple ports, multiple HBAs, in general, change the configuration of the host to be able to spread out that workload to mitigate issues where you're getting too much resources being used in one situation. The underutilized, we can go ahead and take a look and leverage that data to see which guests are not being utilized appropriately and retire them if necessary if they're truly not being used in the environment. I want to thank you for your time today or reviewing this video. If you have any questions, please let us know.